All right, so hello everybody. Uh, my name is Yusuf Agerhi, and today we will be doing the second lecture in the math classes that we're doing um, for the summer. And this one is going to be about subtraction. All right, so this is all from a book called How to Be Good at Math, for the people that were wondering. All right, so to start off with, what is subtraction? So subtraction is where you have a number, okay? and you want to take away from that number. So here we have the number six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six oranges. And this symbol right here, the one that just looks like a straight line, that is the subtraction symbol, all right? So since this is there and we have one, two oranges next to it, this means that we have six oranges minus two oranges. So we want to take away two from the six oranges that we have here. So. Um, let's take away these two oranges right here, all right? So these two oranges are now gone. So now we only have one, two, three, four oranges, which means six minus two equals four, okay? All right, so you can also subtract with a number line, all right? So how you do this, let's start off with reading the equation. We have five minus four, all right? So let's start off by finding the five on the number line. Okay, so subtracting on a number line is like the same thing as adding one on a number line, except you're going the other way, all right? So if we were adding five plus four, we would go one, two, three, four, and the answer would be nine, but that's for the adding. Since we're subtracting, we'd go backwards. So we'd go one, two, three, four to the left. So five minus four equals one. All right, let's see. So, yeah, all subtracting is, is counting back, okay? So we have the equation eight minus three. Okay, so let's start at eight right here. And all we have to do is go back three times. So we jump back one, two, three, and we land on the number five. So eight minus three must be five. All right, uh, let me just move this really quickly. So, Subtracting is finding the difference. Here we have eight minus three, okay? But now we wanna find the difference between those two numbers. We don't wanna know um, the answer straight away. So this will still tell us the answer, but we're gonna do it in a different way. So we go to three, all right? And we're just gonna keep jumping until we reach eight, all right? So we're gonna jump one, two, three, four, five. So after five jumps, we reach the number eight. So the difference between eight and three is five. Okay, so and that's the same thing as eight minus three equals five. But this is just another way of doing it, using addition. All right, so now we have some subtraction facts. Okay, so these are subtraction facts of um, 10 because Every single number is being subtracted from 10. All right. So if 10 minus 0 equals 10, 10 minus 1 equals 9, 10 minus 2 equals 8, 10 minus 3 equals 7, 10 minus 4 equals 6, 10 minus 5 equals 5, 10 minus 6 equals 4, 10 minus 7 equals 3, 10 minus 8 equals 2, 10 minus 9 equals 1, and 10 minus 10 equals 0. All right, so here are some inverse facts, all right? So let, let me just tell you what we're looking at here. So one plus one, all right, if we we're gonna add one plus one, it would be two, okay? So we're just gonna take two and subtract it, subtract one from it. So that's what we're doing. We're taking the doubles of each number on the right and subtracting that number from it. So the double of two, which is two plus two, is four. So we're gonna, we have four here and we're subtracting two and so on. So we have two minus one equals one, four minus two equals two, six minus three equals three, eight minus four equals four, 10 minus five equals five, 12 minus six equals six, 14 minus seven equals seven, 16 minus eight equals eight, 18 minus nine equals nine, 20 minus 10 equals 10. And you can see the pattern here, where it just goes one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. 
So let's go back to using number lines, okay? So here we have the equation 132 minus 54, all right? So here is 132. So we're going to go back two times or add two, and uh, we're going to be able to go to 130. And then from there, everything will be easier and we can just jump by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. And then we're going to add two again and we make it to 78. All right. So that would, uh, the number that we jump by is 54. All right. Cause we jump by 50 and then we have two plus two, which equals four. All right. So 132 minus 54 equals 78. And you can also do it the other way and it'll be the same. So let's look at that really quick. So we have 54. Okay. We're going to uh, start there and we're going to jump forward six. All right. And then we're just going to jump by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then we're going to jump forward by two. And that is 132. All right. Because we jumped forward by 78. All right. So 132 minus 54 equals 78. Okay, next. So now we have um, money. Money is very important in subtraction, okay? So we have $10, all right, minus $7.35. So let's say you have 10, uh, you're, um, you buy stuff and the total is $7.35 and you pay with a $10 bill. So what you wanna find is how much change you will get back, okay? So let's start off by adding five cents to get $7.40, okay? So $7.35 plus five cents equals $7.40, all right? So next we wanna add 60 cents to make us to $8, all right? So $7.40 plus 60 cents equals $8, all right? Now we can add two, $2 to take us up to $10. Okay, so eight plus two equals 10, or eight dollars plus two dollars equals ten dollars. All right, so finally we combine the amounts seven dollars and 35 cents plus two dollars and 65 cents equals ten dollars. So what we did here with the uh, um, um, five cents, 60 cents, and two dollars, that's the amount of change that we get back. Okay. If we combine all of those together, we get two dollars and sixty-five cents. So that would mean ten dollars minus seven dollars and thirty-five cents equals two dollars and sixty-five cents. So we would get two dollars and sixty-five cents back from the cashier or the shopkeeper. All right. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, so. Here we're subtracting, we're subtracting um, using the same thing that we used to do with addition, all right? But it's called expanded column subtraction. So let's just move on over here so we can do it from right here, okay? So we have four minus eight, okay? We obviously can't do four minus eight because that would equal a negative number. So what we wanna do, let me see if I can just um, get my annotation here. Instead of, we'll take one from this two, Okay, so this will become a one, all right? And this will become a 14, all right? So now we have 14 minus eight, okay? And 14 minus eight equals six, all right? So now we have one minus seven. We can't do that, okay? So what we're gonna do again is we're gonna go to this three here, its neighbor, and we're gonna take one from it. So this becomes a two. Now we have 11, okay? So now we have to do 11 minus seven, okay? And that equals four. So, so far we have 46, okay? Now we just have two minus one, all right? That's very simple. You just have to take one away from two and that's one. So now we have 146, okay? So 324 minus 178, equals 146. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. 
So this one, it's the same thing. Oh, sorry, I need to delete my annotations really quickly. All right, this one is the same thing, um, except now it's visibly showing that we're carrying numbers, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing, but with different numbers. All right, so here we have two, uh, 932 minus 767, okay? So to make this easier on us, we'll just focus on the ones place right now. All right, two minus seven. Okay, you can't you can't subtract that because it would equal a negative number. So we'd have to cross out this three and make it a two. Okay, the one next to the two doesn't matter right now. We need to we're gonna have to wait to get there. So now we have twelve minus seven. All right, all right, and that equals five. Okay, so now we have two minus six. We can't do two minus six either because two is a smaller number than six, okay? So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to borrow one from the nine, it becomes an eight, and this becomes a 12. Okay, so now we have 12 minus six. And since six plus six equals 12, 12 minus six equals six. All right, so now we have 65 in the bottom. And now we have eight minus seven, all right? so. 8 minus 7 would equal 1 because they're only 1 apart. So 932 minus 767 equals 165. Okay. And I think that's all. All right. So um, thank you all. I hope you learned something new today um, with me and my dad. And I hope you all have a great day.